Well, hello again, and welcome to another edition of The Speed Bag. Today, a segment I like to call, We Have Got to Make Up Our Minds. Now, here we are, almost a week removed from UFC 196, and you know how you know that it was a big event? It's not just the talk of the blockbuster pay-per-view sales. It's the fact that we are still hearing nonsensical opinions about it. Now, my pick for the most nonsensical opinion so far of all, that would have to go to UFC President Dana White, who maintains that Holly Holm and her team messed up big time, not just because Holm lost via submission to Misha Tate, who is the new UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, but because Holm took the fight at all. White was highly critical of Holmes' longtime manager, Lenny Frescas. In an ESPN interview earlier this week, he said that Frescas was, quote, an old boxing guy who thinks he's smart, but he's not. Again, that's criticism based just on the decision to have Holm defend her title rather than waiting for the return of Ronda Rousey. Now, if you detect a little hypocrisy there, congratulations, you are paying attention. Now, this is the same Dana White who has criticized fighters in the past for sitting out while they wait for title shots or sidelining themselves while they try to renegotiate contracts. He's the same guy who loves to remind fighters that their window of financial opportunity is rapidly closing so they should fight as often as they can and make as much money as they can while they can. And yet here he is criticizing Holm for basically trying to do exactly what he says fighters should do. But White's not the only one who has changed his mind for this specific situation. Now you look around message boards, social media, you see plenty of people questioning Holmes' decision to defend her title now against Tate, rather than you know, waiting for a probably more lucrative fight when Ronda Rousey returns, whenever that happens to be. I mean, that's one of the problems, is that Rousey's been off filming movies, we don't know what her schedule is, when she'll be back, and yet people seem to think that Holmes should have been willing to wait, you know, more or less indefinitely, just to make more money against Rousey. Thing is, we usually like this quality in our champions, this willingness to put it on the line over and over again in order to prove their supremacy above all others. I mean, we liked it in Conor McGregor when he fought later that same night, and he also lost. White was full of praise for McGregor's gamble, just like he's been full of praise for other champions who have been willing to fight anyone, anytime, anywhere. So why have we suddenly decided that Holm and her team are a bunch of morons for actually wanting to defend the UFC title that she won? Is it just because she lost? Because if that's it, you think about what you're really saying there. If you're going to be the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion in the year 2016, you're going to have to fight Misha Tate. You'll probably have to fight her more than once. If you don't think you can beat somebody like Tate, what are you doing here? Are we saying that Holm was dumb for not hiding her title away and trying to extract as much cash as possible before inevitably losing it? Or would it still have been dumb if she had won the fight, which honestly she was well on her way to doing right up until she lost? We need to make up our minds because it can't be both. We can't love some fighters for being willing to go out there and put it on the line and then call other fighters stupid for basically engaging in the act of fighting. And this is just a risky business to begin with. It seems like they know that. Maybe it's the rest of us who need to get a clue.